what we used to, what we did in our 20s and 30s for weight loss you can forget it all it doesn't work and it kind of needs a new rethink and I, what I want to explain today is why um, I, I always say to people I like to explain why um, what happens during the menopause so that you kind of know um, a little bit of background and then hopefully then I'll give you some tips um, but if I explain the background, hopefully you'll be able to understand it a little bit better about why I'm implementing and asking you to do things slightly differently. Um, so you will know who I am by now. That's me. Um, hopefully you all know me. Um, so right, what is the menopause? I'm sure that because you're here, you already know what's the menopause. But basically, the menopause is a term when you've no longer had your periods. You have to have had stopped your periods for 12 months if you're over 50 and for two years if you're under 50 in order to be called as the GP would call it, menopause, post-menopause. However, the period leading up to menopause is perimenopause. This isn't quite as widely discussed and this actually can last up to 10 years in some women. And it's during this time that a lot of the changes and stuff will happen and you'll get many of the symptoms. Um, you'll, um, the symptoms can be anything from hot flushes, night sweats, but they're the, kind of the most common ones that are talked about all the time. And that's what people, if you're talking about a menopause woman, that will be the thing, you know, they're taking off the cardigan, putting it back on again, you get your hot flush. But actually other, a lot of other symptoms, you know, that aren't discussed quite so, wild, so wildly is anxiety, lack of motivation, the migraines, insomnia, sleep disturbances, and of course the weight gain around the middle or just difficulty losing weight. However, there are so many more symptoms. I think at the last count, I think there were 50 different symptoms that we have to go through. These symptoms aren't just, called, aren't just caused by the lowering of the estrogen and the progesterone, but actually it's the fact that these hormones are fluctuating quite wildly at this time. So sometimes progesterone, progesterone kind of declines gradually and estrogen goes through cycles. So quite often you can actually be kind of go through periods where you're high estrogen and then other times when your estrogen is quite low as you kind of go through the menopause. But it's all these fluctuating um, hormones that cause all these um, many different symptoms. And some people will experience menopause really differently to others. Just because you know one friend is suffering from anxiety doesn't mean to say you will. You might end up with more lack of motivation or hot flushes. Um, and, and some women are really lucky and they don't get any symptoms at all and others get it horrendously. So I think the, the general consensus is about 20% of the of women will get it really badly. 20% of women will get no symptoms and just sail through it. And the rest of us kind of fall in the middle. Um, and if you look at your mum, that is a really good indicator. So if your mum sailed through menopause, then you're likely to sail through menopause. Um, if your mum had a hard time going through the menopause, then you're likely to go through a hard time, unfortunately. So you can uh, yeah, blame your mum on that one. So this is, I'm gonna explain just about all the four reasons about why we can push on weight during this time. And then I'm gonna go through each reason in a little bit more detail, just so you understand it all. So lowered estrogen and lowered progesterone can trigger something called insulin resistance. So I'm gonna go into a little bit about what insulin resistance is. Lowered estrogen can cause a lack of motivation or drive. Um, so I'm sure you, some of you will understand what that means. And then high cortisol, um, which is like it was a stress response, can mean that your adrenals pump out signals to lay down fat, fat, and I'll explain that again. And then of course, you, as we get, in fact, post 40, really, we our muscle uh, mass declines um, and we have lowered muscle. Um, so therefore, the, the less muscle you have, the less calories you burn just on a day-to-day -day business. So as I explained earlier, what works in your 20s and 30s doesn't work anymore and you need to do things differently because of these four reasons. So I'm now gonna go through these four reasons in a little bit more detail. Mm -hmm. 